Hey, it's Monday and I'm Midja. Now the silly season is upon us and Christmas day is nearly here. And in our household, we have the Christmas tree up, we have the lights that are flashing, the kids are having their advent calendars, so chocolate for breakfast every morning, and we are eagerly looking forward to the big day. But of course, the lead up to Christmas Day is often just as much fun as the day itself. And psychologists call this period of anticipation free happiness because it doesn't cost us a thing. It's just us thinking about and anticipating an event that's happening in the future that we are really looking forward to. And I had a mentor say to me once that to be happy, we need two things. Firstly, we need someone to love. And secondly, we need something to look forward to. Now, I think he was on to something. So I want to ask you, in your workplace, what are your people looking forward to? And what are you doing to create this sense of anticipation? Because if your people have that, they will be engaged and they will be committed to the work that they're doing. They'll be persistent, regardless of any roadblocks that might get in their way. And they'll also be optimistic and they'll be thinking positively and have that real can do attitude. So as a leader, it's up to you to create these rituals daily, weekly, monthly, yearly that create not only a sense of rhythm for your teams, but also a sense of anticipation. And if your people don't have something to look forward to at work, then they can become disengaged and stagnant. And you might get compliance from them, but you won't get commitment. They won't go that extra mile. And when things get tough, when they get stressed, they'll ring up and take that sick day. So it's about, as a leader, building this sense of anticipation and always having something for your people to look forward to. I am, I can, I'm Midja, Mwah. bye guys.